let me show you how to add a report bug button on your WordPress site really easily using job form. Follow me to my desktop right now. What's up everyone? My name is George and this is job form. I'm going to show you how to add a report bug button on your WordPress site, which is going to be done super easily. The first thing that we're going to do is obviously create a form that we're going to use so the users can report a bug. So let's get started. This is my dashboard and we're going to get started with a brand new form and we're going to start from scratch classic form. And the first thing we need to do is obviously add the elements that we're going to need to create our report bug button form. Now, in this case, it will vary depending on the information that you need on your form, but I'm going to give you a quick example of what you can add on this report bug form. So let's get started. First thing I would recommend is adding a drop down menu. Here we go, because this is where we're going to add the type of a bug report. It could be a bug report, it could be a suggestion, or it could be something else. And we're going to know by adding this sections. So let's add what this is for. In this case, I've named it select a category and we're going to use category one, for example, bug report, suggestion, other. Okay, we're going to keep it simple. You can add the options that you need here. Okay, next thing I would add is a long text. Here we go, long text. So, okay, issue to report. And then I would add a file upload. So in this case, they're able to upload a screenshot, an image, an example, something like that. And we give them the option here. So let me go ahead and add a title here. Okay, here we go. Upload an image or screenshot. Now, in this case, we have the option to configure this to only allow them to upload image types. But if you leave it open, they will be able to upload other type of files like TXT, EXE, and different type of files. So if you want to change that option, you can reduce the options to just leave the images. But if you want to allow videos, TXTs, zip files, you can leave this as is. Okay. And then I would add an email option. Here we go. Let's go ahead and add the email and we're good to go. In this case, we're not going to ask for names. We're going to ask for address because it's just a bug report, but it's up to you if you want to add more elements to this bug report form. Okay. So let's go ahead and leave this as is. We're good to go. You can change it up. You can make it nice. You can change colors. You can do a beautify with the form designer but we're going to keep it as it is. We're going to go to publish and in publish, we're going to go into the embed option. And then we have an option that says feedback button. Okay. So we're going to click on this one and we have the option to grab the code here that we're going to use on our WordPress site. Now, let me go ahead and grab this code. Let me go ahead and copy it and let's jump over to our WordPress site. So this is the back end of my WordPress site. I am already logged in and this is the site where I'm using as a demo. Let me go ahead and refresh this and you can see there's no button here. Okay. So there's several ways to add the button. The safest one, which is the first one I'm going to show you is by installing a plugin that allows you to add the code to your site. This way you don't have to mess with other uh, file scripts, HTML codes that you might mess up. In this case, we're going to avoid that by installing a plugin. So go into plugins, add new search for header and footer. Here we go. And you can grab one of these. In this case, I've installed this one, insert header and footer. I am going to activate it. There we go. And it's now available in our settings section. Here it is. And this is where we're going to add the code. And in this case, we're going to add it to the body script section. Okay. So I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to check out my site. I'm going to refresh it. And boom, we got the feedback button. Now be aware that it says feedback and we got our form right here. But if you need to change the style, if you need to change the color, the, the size, the section, if you need it on the right, if you need it on the top, bottom, etc., we have to do that over here on job form. And in job form, we have this option that says customize. So in customize, we can change the title. For example, it could be bug, bug report, and we can change the dimensions, the alignment. So if you want it in the left, the top, the bottom, etc. And then the vertical alignment, center, top, bottom, the style, the button color. So let's just say that your side, in this case, it's a different one. I don't know, purple, for example. In this case, I'll just select that one. I'm going to save changes. Again, I'm going to grab the code and I'm going to update it in the plugin that I've just installed, just to give you an idea of what you can do. I'm going to go ahead and save this. There we go. Let's go ahead and refresh it. Here we go. We got a bug report button that I'm going to click on it. And we have our form right here that people can fill out and 
do a bug report. Now, like I mentioned, this is, would be the safest way to add a, the, the code. Now, be aware that by adding the code right here in the body, that means that this will show up on all the pages of your WordPress site, which is something you might want. But maybe you just want this in a specific section of a page Well, you can add the code specifically in a page. So let me show you. Let me go ahead and get rid of this one. OK, let's go ahead and refresh it. OK, it's now gone. And I'm going to go into a specific page. and I'm going to say I want it in this coming soon page. So let me go ahead and open up this page. No feedback button here, no bug report. I am going to edit with Elementor in this case. This is available in Gutenberg also. Just add a code. And I'm going to search here in Elementor for HTML code. So I'm going to drag it inside of here. Don't worry, this is going to be transparent. You won't be able to view this in the live page. Okay. So let me go ahead and add the code here. Let's go ahead and preview this. And here we go. We got the bug report. Now, if I go to a different section of my WordPress site, that button is not going to appear because I've set it specifically in one single page. So depending on your use case, this could be something that you want to do. Now, the other way that I want to show this to show you how to install this is by not using a plugin. Now, for some specific reasons, you don't want to add more plugins to your WordPress site because it already has too many and you want to do this the professional way. Well, you can do this in appearance theme file editor. Now, in the beginning, you will get a warning saying that if you modify these files, you could break your site. Once you go through that, you get this this menu and we're going to search for header PHP. Here we go. We're going to select it and in header PHP. We're going to go all the way down here and we're going to add the code that we just grabbed from JotForm. Here we go. It's now saved. Let's go into our site. Let's go ahead and refresh it. And here we go. We got our bug report form available so people can do their bug report or issue or feedback or just other suggestions by using this button, which is super easy and practical to add in your WordPress site. Now, like I mentioned before, you have three options. You got this option where it's going to be on all your WordPress pages. The other option with the plugin, again, it's going to be on all your pages or a specific section of a page that you just want to pop in or available in a certain piece of page that you've created. So it's going to depend on you how you want to add this. But there you go. That is how you're going to add your bug report button on your WordPress site using this form builder, this simple code that you're going to add to your site. And you're good to go. Don't forget to leave us in the comments what you think about this bug report button that you can add on your WordPress site. And also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification so it notifies you when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.